Hey everybody, Max Kevin here's Little Kitty Podcast. It's not too long. Oh, it's my it's my Saturday night dude, fucking Saturday night party, dude. Fucking Saturday night party in Japan, dude. You know, I'm just sitting here. I'm just sitting just sitting alone, not just not not going out. I'm just gonna have a nice little relaxing night at home tonight, you know, it's it's raining outside, I'm still feeling kind of sick. A little sick, you know, it's been almost a week now. I've been, goddamn, goddamn Chinese virus, you know, anyway, I've, uh, I've been, uh, I've been nasal rinsing. You guys ever do that? You ever do the nasal rinse there? You go, you get, you get this little bottle there, you fill it up with warm, warm salt water, and then you shoot it up your nose, and it's like, oh my god, it's like an enema, but in my nose, it's a nose enema, and, uh, it's very, it's unpleasant. I don't like it. I definitely don't like it, but uh, it seems to uh, it seems to clear up the, the the nasal passages there. Clears them up a little bit, you know. Little nasal rinse. It's good, you know. Humans have a lot of humans do that a lot, huh? Just like shove salt water up our holes, you know, up our noses, up our butts, and they feel all clean. It's like, oh, I'm so clean now. I just shoved a bunch of salt water in my body. It's like going in the ocean. God, isn't that the worst when you go in the ocean and you, and you get some salt water in your mouth and you're just like, oh, God, the goddamn plankton is in my mouth. Oh, that's the worst. Anyway, uh, I was, uh, I was reading up on milk today. I don't know if you guys, you guys drink milk? I don't drink, I don't drink milk too much. Anymore, you know, doing the carnivore diet. I just do, I just eat, I just eat the cows. I don't drink their milk, you know. And you know what else I learned today? I learned that India is the biggest producer of milk. Can you believe that? They don't even eat, they don't eat cows, but they're the biggest producer of milk. It's like, hey, what's your deal, India? All right. Well, you think cows are so cool, you let them, you let them wander around on the streets and shit wherever they want. And you, do, you don't, your McDonald's doesn't even have any hamburgers. You let these cows run rampant. Maybe that, uh, but you only drink their milk, you don't eat the meat. Maybe that's why everybody's dying of Corona over there in India, you know? Uh, uh, peace and love to anyone who's in India, uh, you know? God, they're making a big deal of that now, you know, on the American news. They're like, oh my God, look, everybody's dying in India because they didn't shut down properly. That's what happens when they have Trump. Over, that's that. It's all Trump's fault. That's why everybody's dying in India because we elected Trump in 2016. Goddamn Trump. Uh, you know? <laughs> So, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty sad, but, uh, you know, I mean, India's got, uh, not exactly the best, uh, best, uh, I guess they're not exactly the richest country in the world, I guess is what I'm trying to say, you know. They're like, everybody's, people are dying in the streets, the hospitals are full, it's like, yeah, well, I mean, you didn't really have a, this whole city didn't even, never had a hospital, I don't know, what did you expect, really, I don't know. I don't know, man. You know, anyway, um, enough, enough, enough of that talk. Enough of that talk. Uh, yeah. So back, to, back to milk, dude. Back to milk. Yeah. Okay. This is gonna help. This is gonna help the people. This is gonna help the people in India. So I was reading up on milk today on the Wikipedia. There, you know. I don't know. Sometimes I get bored and go on Wikipedia. Just type in stuff, you know, like milk. And uh, yeah. Par- apparently, there's this, uh, there's this, there's this other separate type of milk called colostrum, right? It's like it's it's the milk that comes out of the tits like in the first couple of days there, you know? Like after the baby's born, there's a special type of milk. It's got mommy's antibodies. It's got it's got the special enzymes or whatever. It's called colostrum, right? It's kind of yellow, yellowish milk. Only comes out the first week there. And then after that it's just plain old white milk. It's like, "Up. Oh, no more special colostrum milk. It's been a week. You just get the plain white milk." Um, anyway, so I was reading up on that there, and, uh, yeah, apparently, you know, you know, cows have this too, and they harvest that shit too, and I didn't realize, I didn't realize there was a special type of milk that changed after a week, and that they actually harvested it, and then you can buy it, they, they sell supplements of it, you know, and supposedly it's supposed to help your immune system, and, uh, help athletic performance or whatever, you know, so I think I'm gonna get that, I think that's my, that's my new supplement, it's the new special yellow milk. The yellow cow colostrum milk. It's only meant for the little babies, but I'm taking it in pill form. You know? But, uh, hey, India, you know? Maybe India should, uh, they should 
pass out some of those colostrum pills or whatever. I don't know. It's supposed to help with your immune system. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. You know, anyway. Uh, check it out. Colostrum. I think they named it after that X-Men character, Colossus. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Yeah, did you guys hear the White House commented on Joe Rogan? They're like, Joe Rogan says young, healthy people shouldn't have to take the vaccine. And he's he's wrong because he's just Joe Rogan. You know? And he's just like, what? What, dude? Well, I got a fucking podcast, bro. I get fucking drunk. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay. All these podcasts Joe Rogan does, he gets drunk and he gets drunk and baked, and then he talks for three hours. And then, like, they really have to comment on him. I'm like, <laughs> don't take his medical advice. Don't take the medical advice of a drunk stone comedian. Yeah, this this is the world we live in. This is, you know, people are idiots, you know? Any hoot, uh... Oh god, oh god! I don't, I don't like I don't like thinking about how dumb people are. I don't like thinking about how dumb people are. You know. Anyway, uh, we got uh, we got some UFC fights coming up tomorrow. Maybe when you're hearing this, when as you're hearing this, they're already over. I don't know. If you're if you're a real cutie, if you're a real little cutie, you know, you down, I'm sure you download it as soon as it pops up and you listen to it right away, and then you just keep you just keep listening to it on repeat until the next one appears. And so you've listened to it like 37 times until the next episode comes up. You know. But anyway, we got some. We got some good fights there. Okay, looking at the prelims here. Uh, I don't, I don't really know any of these people except for Kai Kamaka. That guy's, dude, that guy's a brawler, dude. He's gonna throw down, bro. Him versus T.J. Brown. I don't know T.J. Brown, but it's gonna be a banger, dude. Check out that fight. The other guys, I don't know. I might, I might check out their fights. I always look at the prelims just to see if anybody's got like a perfect record. But uh, this one guy, this one guy, K.B. K.B. Bular. Oh, is this guy Indian or what? KB Bular. How's that how's that even a name? Bular? KB? Okay, okay, anyway. I'm trying to find this guy. His name's the Bangle. This guy this guy's gotta be from India or something, right? The Hindu? The Hindu magazine? Indo Canadian? Oh, he's Canadian Indian. He's not real Indian. Anyway. Oh uh, okay, let's go to the uh, the main card fight. Okay, we got we got uh, Marab Devali Shvidi, as I I've talked about before. He needs to change his name to Mike Mike Davis instead of Mar- Marab Devali Shvili. And uh, and of course, in the fight after that, we got Kazir Kazir Jotko. Okay, okay, Kazir Kazir Kastov. This guy's only got one vowel in his name. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's got a nine-letter first name with only one vowel. Like, hey, dude, you can't have you can't have seven consonants before an O. Kurzitz 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 Okay, you need to change your name to Kyle. How about that one? Kyle Jacob. That's a good name for you. Okay, then we got Ion. Then we got Ion Kutelaba, who's got like a little his t- the T in his name is pooping or something. He's got like a little comma below the T. It's like, hey, dude, why don't you just erase that? Write it with a normal T, all right? You pronounce it like a normal T, right? All right, just get rid of that. Why is your T pooping, dude? All right? Jeez. Okay, in the next fight, we got Giga. Giga Chickadees. Giga Chickadees. Okay, <laughs> that guy's got a great name. Don't change it. Don't. Your name should be Giga Chickadees forever. In fact, I'm going to name my first three kids Giga Chickadees 1, 2, and 3. Okay, and then uh, for of course, with the uh, main the main fight there, we got Dominic Reyes coming back after after his loss to Big Boy Jan, Polish Power Jan, knocked him out, and he's fighting he's fighting Jiri Pro Pro Projetsika Project. Okay, okay, Jiri. This guy Jiri, he's got okay, he's got an accent mark over the eye there. Okay, which we have in in European languages, you know, people are, and he's also got an accent mark over the A, which is normally you no. Know, I mean, I study a little bit of Spanish. I seen that you know, hola. And uh, Nino, you know, it's got the little tilde or whatever. But he's got a little, he's got a little thing over the R there. He's got like a little U-shaped symbol over the R. What the, what the fuck's that? How are you supposed to pronounce that? Well, you just don't, is it Jiri? How are you supposed to pronounce that R, dude? You can't have, you can't have little symbols over, over consonants, man. You can only, you're only supposed to put them over vowels, you know? God damn it. One of these, this guy's, okay, I'm, uh, this guy's name's gonna be Jeff. Jeff Projekaza? I don't know. Let's say, uh, what's a, what's a good last name that starts with P? I don't know. Uh, Peterson. Your name's Jeff Peterson. That's your new name. You know, anyway, this uh, this UFC, Reyes versus Prochazic. It's going to be, it's definitely going to be tough for the announcers, you know, to, to announce all these 
weird ass names. Diwali Shvili, Kristofistof, Kutelaba, Giga Chickadizi. Oh, anyway. Uh, this, this is why Joe Rogan gets to pay the big bucks, right? You know? Because he can pronounce these crazy names. You know, maybe don't take his advice about coronavirus, but, you know, if you, if you want him to say some crazy names, just say, hey, Joe Rogan, you got a great podcast. You know, anyway, thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.